Hey, Carmine, anyone ever call you the big ragu when we were growing up? <laughs> everybody. I knew you'd get anybody, it. Everybody. He, he just died, too, that guy, Eddie Mecca. Did you did know? Did he really? Yeah, like, I don't know, about six months ago, the big ragu passed away. It was a bummer. Yeah, Laverne and Shirley. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you must have yep. gotten that when we were kids because I know we're, we're he... near each other age-wise. Yep. You know I go from rags to riches, right? <laughs> <laughs> I love it, dude. And I would get a lot of Vinnie Barbarino until – Travolta took off. Then I never got it again. I, it was like the first, <laughs> the first season of Welcome Back, about, Welcome Back, Connor. Excuse me. I got a lot of uh, Vinny Barbario. Once he was in Greece in Saturday Night Fever, that ended. Um, but funny stuff. Uh, always looking well, forward thanks, to these uh, jets. I guess that was good for you because the big ragu never did anything after Laverne and Shirley. And so he, I got that for a while. And he got <laughs> launched in like a big way. You know what it was, dude? He was tough, but he would do ballet or something. And I remember yep. we, they tried to make him like the next Fonz. And it's like, nah, I like the big ragu, but you're not the next Fonz. <laughs> Oh, that's hysterical. Great conversation. I love it. It it can only go downhill from here. Let's see how we do. (laughs) Uh, So it's Carmine Montori, uh, Vice President, uh, Business Insurance Agent at VF McNeil Insurance. I've been getting a lot of great feedback on these exchanges because I think a lot of people are realizing they might be overpaying uh, and that it is – everybody's hurting in a lot of ways. So it's like, where can I cut a corner? Where am I overpaying for something? So I've been getting some great emails. I should probably be forwarding them uh, to you as far as <laughs> insurance questions are concerned. Uh, they've, they've moreover been thank yous, especially from a couple guys I know who managed to start businesses during the pandemic. And they're like, you know, I was listening to that segment and I don't even know if what I got is right. I think I might be overpaying. Yeah, I mean, definitely. Um, first and foremost, by all means, forward the emails to our agency, and we'll be happy to perform um, a review for anyone. Obviously, there's no cost associated with it. Uh, even if we don't write the insurance for them, we can certainly point them in the right direction. Yeah. So we're, we're all about helping people out any way we can. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but with regards to, yeah, people paying too much, obviously you never want to, you know, you never want to sacrifice coverage for savings, but there are certain things that you can do to you know, maybe – take a little bit more risk on as a business owner and save a few dollars without really, you know, um, putting your business in jeopardy. So again, it's more about just having a thorough review of everything and going through things. And there are typically ways that you could, you know, tweak and tweak a policy or an account to, to save a few dollars without, without putting the, the business owner in a lot of harm's way. So yeah. absolutely reviews are very important. Well, and the fact of the matter is that coverage is a necessity because, you know, not covered in one key way, there goes the business potentially. I mean, that's a reality. 100%. I mean, I, I say it all along. You could have one event just take down everything that you worked for. And, and that's not just businesses. That's also your personal insurance. You could, you know, if you don't have the right amount of car insurance and you, God forbid, hit, you know, a car with three or four people in it and they're all seriously injured. Not the, no, not the fake injuries where people, I oh, my back hurts. Serious injuries yeah. where, you know, you do some serious harm. I mean, that could wipe out all your savings, everything that you've built, you know, you worked so hard for it to, to build up in your life, it's all gone in one instant, you know? So it's, it's very important that, that you have the right coverage to protect the, to protect your assets, whether you're an individual, a business owner, you know, whatever walk of life you're in. Um, some people think, oh, you know, well, I don't have that much. Yeah, but what you do have, you still want to protect. Yeah. And, and it's surprisingly affordable a lot of times. People just don't realize it. And what I've always counted on, because it's, it's not my wheelhouse at all, what I think could be key if you're a knucklehead like me is, you know, friendships and trust and trusting who's looking out for you. Uh, and that's why I'm very comfortable uh, telling you right now that we're going to talk about property and casualty, also known as P&C. And I have no clue what that is, what that means. So I'm as interested in hearing you break this down as maybe a lot of listeners. But I do, I, I think I've said it before, too. What's really key is, you know, make sure your your agent is a person, is, is, like I told you, is a friend or at the very least someone you trust and, and has your back. Because P&C is lost on me. You can use that in an ad, too, if you want. <laughs> well, I mean, property and casualty is just a fancy way of saying the business insurance or the property insurance. The property is obviously property. That's anything that you own, lease, rent, that may be in your name that has a value to it um, that needs to be insured, i.e. your home, your business, the contents within the business. Uh, the casualty is the liability aspect of it. 
you know, um, the work that you perform, any injury that's caused out of your work, um, any anybody that may slip and fall on your property. That's the casualty aspect of it. So it's basically, again, it's it's really just a fancy way of saying the 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 property that you own and then the liability that is associated with either the property that you own or the work that you do, um, and and everything that arises out of those things. And then you have the covered perils, which cover you on the property side. And on the casualty side, you you know they pretty much cover you for everything other than the exclusions that are on a policy. Uh, you never want to you know get into that because that can get a little boring. But an agent can certainly walk you through all the things and make sure that you're covered properly, um, and and go from there. But yeah, it, again, just a fancy way of saying the property that you own and then the liability associated with it. Yeah. And again, Ron with Carmine Montori from VF McNeil Insurance, celebrating his 25 years with this 136 year old insurance agency, and located where I'm living uh, nowadays, and I've been for the past 10 years in Brantford. Now, uh, uh, what about renewals right now too? I mean, a, a lot of uh, business owners are getting their policy renewals right now, and probably should be preparing themselves. Yes, uh, we're, we're 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 entering what's called "quote unquote" a hard market, which basically means that you're seeing larger than normal increases. Um, you know, at the beginning of the year, any good agency will will take a look at what the average increase should be, and then they go from there. So, for the most part, it's always been somewhere between five and eight percent. Um, this year, we're probably seeing a lot of things over 10% on um, on a lot of uh, renewals, and it's becoming more the norm than the than 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 in the past. And and I, I think it's because of the simple fact there's just been so many different things that have gone on uh, over the past year that have that have that are causing companies to have to raise rate, whether it be the pandemic and everything associated with that, the increased in cost in construction that we discussed on one of our previous calls. Absolutely, yeah. That's one of the um, ones. You know, I, now, now, that's one of the ones I got a response on. You know, somebody was, uh, they that obviously goes without saying that resonated with them. And and honestly, what we're finding out now too that we were just discussing in a meeting yesterday is used cars. Um, you know, the insurance cost on that is going up because it's actually costing more now to insure a used car because, as you know, you can sell it now for you know record prices. Yeah, you know. know. Uh, you, uh, but when you go to buy a car, it's more expensive. Hence, it's more expensive to fix the car now. So if you are in an accident, so we're seeing that even the auto rates on used vehicles are starting to, to tick up because of the you know supply and demand issues that are going on with people. I mean, I have a couple friends. They, they buy cars. They're like, hey, I bought the car. I'm going to get it in July. <laughs> and yeah. they bought it in March. Yeah. You know? <laughs> like, yeah, why? Why would they do that again? Again, it's just simple. They're, you know, these a lot of the auto manufacturers just don't have everything they need to produce the cars right when they have them on the lot. You used to be able to go on the lot. And I remember I just got a Jeep. Oh yeah, back in yeah, I Ju- we were, in June. Yeah, and, uh, I thought we were still on used cars. Yeah, well, is it that chip shortage, yes. all that weird stuff? Sure, yeah, I'm well aware of that. Yes, and, and but even even like I said, and that's driving the cost of used cars up because people can't get the new cars as quickly as they'd like. So the used cars are becoming more of a thing, and that cost has gone through the roof. You know, I mean, honestly, if you have a used car, it's probably a great time to sell it. But if you go have to go buy one after that, good luck. That's it. Well, that's what I'm seeing now. Now we can stri- just like we started this whole thing with, talking about Laverne and Shirley. We could go off the grid again right here because I, I'm just even seeing the real estate market. It's like sell your house right now, man. You'll get yeah. a boatload of money for it. That train track in your backyard. No one's going to care. You could get a lot of it. That's something I moan about here. You could get a lot. And I'm thinking, well, where am I moving to? Nobody's. Got, I don't even understand how. Oh, I made a bundle selling my place, but I've got there's nothing for me to buy kind of the same thing i'm hearing in in that world oh god it's funny i mean my wife and i were i wouldn't say arguing but having a a spirited conversation with regards to that you i'm from you know i'm from the cove i live in the cove now yeah and uh we live in a really nice area and obviously as you know new haven the prices have gone down for several years and we're finally at a point now where we could probably make money if we sell the house yeah uh, I'm sure you know because we've been in it about 12 years but I told her I said if we sell it where are we gonna go like where <laughs> do we're we gonna go into a rent do you want to buy a house I mean you're gonna pay a lot more right now yeah so it's it's I guess it's uh it's six and one half dozen and the other you yeah. kind of have to see what's best for you but I love where we are so we're staying where we are but yeah, yeah I mean to just go back to the insurance aspect of it Vin it's 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 really we're seeing a lot of things that are unprecedented. We haven't seen it in a long time in the industry, and I think that's why it's really important now more than ever 
and I know I beat beat this to death every week, really just have your stuff reviewed, whether it's a business, whether you're a personal insurance account. Make sure you're looking at your, your insurances. Have have a, another agent take a peek at it. Every, I'm not saying every year because you really don't want to hop around. That does affect your pricing. It does. It when look, you hop I, around. Even I know that much. You know, it's uh, bad optics. Yeah, see, but you, every couple years, every two, three years, have it looked at. Make sure, you know, you're still paying a decent rate. Make sure you're covered properly. Uh, and again, don't ever sacrifice coverage for price. Try to pay what you can. Get as much as you can for what you can afford is what it boils down to. And, and have your professional agent break it down for you and say, hey, this is more important than this, so I would make sure you have this. Yeah. Um, you know, That's really the most important thing. And, and I think, honestly, the way things are going, we're probably going to be seeing this for about a year or two or possibly longer. Um, so, I mean, I hope I'm wrong on that, but just given – the way we are right now in the world, I just can't see these things coming down quickly. Yeah, well, that's good. To, uh, it's a good heads up, uh, and somebody who's been at it a good long time. Uh, so, Carmine Montori, <laughs> uh, another spirit. I like that you called it. We're having spirited exchanges at home. That's good, man. <laughs> uh, maybe, I think I just learned why I'm divorced. I didn't. <laughs> you know, you put that really well because we had a lot of spirited exchanges at home. <laughs> Uh, But that's a good heads up for a lot of business owners out there. VF McNeil Insurance, again, 136 years there, and my man celebrating 25 years with them this year. Carmine Montori, we'll talk again next week. Yeah, Vin, as always, thank you for your time. You're the best, man. All right, take care.